Anyway, what's going on? <laughs> uh, what are what's you currently sauce? making with your channel divinity? Oh, uh, I'm making uh, the armor that was requested by uh, Sainé. Oh, yeah. All right, what does this process look like? Um, he shapes the metal and uh, forms it, and it gets like pulled out into this long, uh, like cloak, like fabric. It's like normally he works like fairly small, like in with his hands towards his chest, but this is like a process that's happening like maybe a foot above him in the air uh, as this gets shaped and moved about. Uh, and he's like referring back to the drawing every now and then. He looks down, <laughs> like checks it. Oh uh, yeah, and eventually, he will have created to the best of his abilities uh, what Sinean has drawn. All right, created. Once the ritual is complete, the divine aura that emanates from this ritual diminishes, and it settles slowly either into your hands or upon the floor, whichever you prefer it. And the armor is fairly good condition in comparison to that of Sinian's design. And mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he may have altered the armor in a few different ways just for the function that, like, Sinian knows style, and, like, he drew it out like that. But Hammerfell knows armor, so he added <laughs> the armor in vital positions that needed to be done. Uh, that is underneath and within the clothing itself. It's not going to affect how it looks, but you know, it's protective in the way that it needs to be. <clears throat> I will fold that up and uh, just kind of set it out uh, somewhere near Sinian's, uh, who's asleep before uh, settling in to go to sleep as well. Because I believe it's Solara on first watch. Yep. yep. Then Brandy, or Brandy? Then Hammerfell? Yeah, something yep. like that. All right. I made the first perception check, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay. Do I need to make another? Then? Go ahead. Eight. <laughs> Your two watches, while not paying attention, seem to go by uneventful and free of any interruption. Um, I do the thing I was doing before, just looking at the sword. I uh, I do try to pray to Bahamut and um, start to compose in earnest my response to my father and glance over at Brandy every so often. As I'll say when you go to contact Bahamut, it's not a process you're used to. And the process I'm used to is like yeah. kneel down and just, I don't know, try and Pray. Make a religion check. Why not? Bahama is judging me for not going to church. <laughs> Definitely judging me. Just sort of, you're not, you don't really know the process of proper prayer. You just sort of get on your knees and just like think outwardly. Really hard. <laughs> yeah. And uh, before you know it, at the end of your watch is here. And. Uh, Brandy's up next. I go and gently, like, touch her shoulder. Brandy. Mm. It's your mm. turn. Last thing you're ready. Hold on. Uh, what did she, you say? We, last turn already. Huh? It's not what I thought I heard you say, but... What? Yes? You think? Are you alright? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yes, I'm. I'm all right. Um, <clears throat> anything happened? Well? Nothing. Anything happened? Oh, um, right. Um. Good night. Good night. Best of luck. And I go to bed. Where do you leave the sword, Solira? Just where I had it by the fire, but kind of 
I mean, I don't know if Sir Hammerfell moved, but... No, Brandy's character sheet on Roll20 is gone. <laughs> what? Deleted. Gone. Reduced to atoms. We try to refresh. <laughs> trying to make me go through the, the character manager and shit again. Weird. Oh, no. That was weird. My profession is fine. Never mind. Okay. What else? Well. <laughs> None of us are paying attention. Ooh, it's a lucky number. <laughs> that I rolled, not that you rolled. Um, once again, taking the colors of the night through differing eyes. The ones that see just as well as you look upon the night sky. It's strange interpreting the world through different eyes that are still your own. But the night goes on, and your two-hour shift is up. And it is now Hammerfell's turn for watch. Gently wake him up. Ooh, who is? Everything all right? It's uh, two turn for watch. Um, and then on and Slyros are both uh, uneventful. So, should be a, a, clean, a clean evening. Thank you. I'll uh, sit up and uh, look around <laughs> and... Hold my uh, hold my signal shield tight, and uh, even do the occasional patrol around the dome. Uh, you know, keep an eye on stuff. All right. Power reception check. Por favor. Favorito. Sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. The night goes by, uninterrupted, unspoiled, and you all gain the benefits of a long rest hey. and awake the next morning. And the sword? And it is the 14th now? Yes. Yes. Great. Really making headway. Look at us go! Look at us. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought we wouldn't be dead yet? Righty. When she wakes up, Brandy will actually put on some of the winter clothes because she is not as naturally warm anymore. I'm going to walk over and uh, try to wake up Sanyan. He's dead. He's dead, Tim. <laughs> He's dead, Tim. Make him roll for a hangover. You, you go to wake up, Sanyan, and you just hear, Skip it about and die Jesus explodes. He just explodes. <laughs> I don't know. He wakes up. What? What? Oh, right. Oh, oh my you. gosh! Your armor completed for you. Well, amazing, but oh my gosh! <laughs> He's like pointing at Bill. He's pointing at uh, oh, Brandy. Oh, yes, of course. That is a far more pressing matter. <laughs> um, he, uh has uh, severed her bond with uh, her contracts. She is now a, a mortal being, like you and I. She just like nods and like awkwardly waves. S still tell me, Sanian. Uh huh. Sweet. You don't believe me, do you? Well, I mean, I do. Inside check. Go ahead. Try. <laughs> <laughs> Got his billions of deception. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's pretty good. Insight. Yeah. But I'm not lying! <laughs> okay. But you're sussy. <laughs> Don't do Are it. you? Are you sussy? 
<laughs> but Sonia will say, ah, well, uh, right, uh, we're, we're doing breakfast, right? Oh, wait, forgot! Daily ritual! Shiakazi! <laughs> 10 HP! 10 HP! We love hey. it. Give it out like candy, baby. I'll go, I'll go change and get into my light, my studded leather armor. And before you go, uh, there's uh, the blessing of Fjorn upon it, and uh, he'll oh. he'll hold it up to you uh, as he hands it to you, and it it hardens with this strange energy before it kind of subsides. As I give it, uh, you know, the uh, the Forge Cleric's uh, blessing, you know, yeah, blessing uh, the Forge. Oh. Uh, it is now a plus one armor, and it's magic. Yeah, we love it. Oh, yeah, my that... my AC has just cre increased so much. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. I now have magic armor, magic shield, and a magic weapon, so I can't use it on myself at all. Give it to me. So I can give it to you. I, I th think Randy's armor, armor is unmagical. My armor and shield are both mundane. Gotcha. Yeah. So well, well I'm I'm more important because uh, she you don't own you don't need to keep her alive anymore because you don't own her anymore. <laughs> Jesus uh, Faring has been up for probably about 30 minutes drinking a strange concoction he's made. <laughs> Hangover cure. <laughs> That's what it seems. Uh, he made some wake, wake him up juice. <laughs> <laughs> Holding his head. <laughs> uh, morning, Faring. How, how do you fare tonight? Or today? Morning? Uh, mentally a lot better than the days that followed behind us, but... Physically, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like I can hear the ringing of all the layers of hell. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I know the feeling. You'll feel better in a while. I'll pat Just him on the back. Press a bit too hard. <laughs> Just, you know. Oh. Right. <laughs> uh, so I love him. Put it all on and then pop up from behind the cart where he was changing and go, ta-da! Feel like a real adventure now. Got my boots. Got a, got gauntlets. Or nice. Does it all fit well? Whatever it is called. Yeah. Got the, got the patented one shoulder pad. <laughs> Aesthetic. Thanks, Emfa. I really would recommend too. They help protect your jugular veins from attacks from the side. Well, it's got a little collar. Oh yes, that is uh. <laughs> little fashion more show. Protection, the better. But it was to your specifications. Yeah. I made a few protective liberties, but it shall service you quite well. All right. It's all good. Yeah, it just needed to be light, is all that matter. Gotta be nimble. <laughs> Alright. We're getting moving soon. I'd like to be out of this light. Let's go! Alright, we'll get into Kungadera. So Lyra cleans up her stuff and, um... Goes to, like, sit in her usual spot. <clears throat> Randy will have the... The winter jacket draped over the both of us while we ride. Salira does not sit, um, like, physically touching her this time. No magic this time? Or no, uh, no magic, uh, no, 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 no good breakfast, just rations? Bearings wanting us out as soon as possible. So All right, yeah. rations, my mm -hmm. bear. <clears throat> Press the hesitation to make them taste anything. better, but doesn't change the texture. <laughs> <laughs> you get on the road. Uh, Brandy, before we get moving, can I assume that you have been reading the manual quickness of action while traveling about? Yes. Yes. Right. Just keeping track of them out. Little did she know I was actually reading it more than she was. <laughs> <laughs> You look at the book and it's completely blank. <gasps> Find me, you motherfucker! <laughs> stole my speed. Mom, you stole my speed. Find has been reading my book and now it's blank. <laughs> you stole my speed. He stole my fast. 
<laughs> you stole my ink. <laughs> no, I hear, I hear you talking, and all I hear is... Who wants to be the encounter role? Mm. Oh, no, Mitch, Mitch should do it. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Make it There's four d20s because I misplaced the d in the four. Four, 20, four d20. <laughs> <laughs> right. It would have been really funny if it rolled sixty nine somehow. Uh, go ahead Not and roll with a uh, d8. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Ancient white dragons. When the DM makes that sound, be, be frightened. When the DM miss us, I'm eight all only right. appear. Uh, if you will allow me a moment. Oh no! No, no, no moments! Oh, no. no moments! No, no segundos! No! No segundo! So how's everybody enjoying the game so far? Totally not looking forward to a TPK anytime soon. Ha ha. Hee hee. Ho ho. I'm scared. I'd like everyone to make a perception check. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm good at this. Oh. Oh. I'm amazing. Oh, oh God. Oh, you're the freaking best. 18. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm... Uh, can't all be amazing. New eyes, it's tough. And yeah, new eyes, how do they work? Just adjusting to them. New eyes, new brand new eyes. eyes. The Paramore album. <laughs> it's a good album. Oh, you all are keeping you. a keen eye on the mountain range about you. You are lowering at quite at quite a good speed to the point where snow no longer lingers upon the ground and the temperature increases. Now out of the negatives completely, even at night time oh, and in the early morning. However. 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 As you take in the area around you, you look in the moment in the sky and you see a sort of glint within the air. It's sort of difficult to make out, almost like you're staring at constantly glare like the glare is constantly put in your direction it's just constantly glinting however <laughs> hammerfell and saliva you all make out nice <laughs> <laughs> you all you make out that's gonna be able... really weird in front oh, of everybody my, my mogus they're making out to make out the details of a incredibly large winged creature. Uh oh. The sparkling appears to be coming off deep green skin. Uh -oh. However, uh -oh. the scales of this creature are translucent. <laughs> you can see the wings of this creature are not actually properly attached to the body, but seem to be held aloft by some sort of force. And the creature head shifts in your direction and begins flying towards you. Do you see that? Dragon! Hmm? What? What's going on now? Hmm? Everyone, careful! Yeah? There's a dragon! I really yeah? for my crossbow. <laughs> I draw my weapon and shield and get into a defensive position in front of the two horses. Guys, I I, I was kidding. McClure, I was kidding about the dragon. I was kidding about the dragon. I was kidding about ah! the dragon. You gave him ideas. What are y'all doing? <laughs> um, trying not to die. Um, getting... Does it seem to be, like, aggressive, then? It's heading in your direction. And it's a dragon. That's scary. And it's a dragon. I ain't paying no toll. You'll never yeah. get me for taxes. I'll never pay my taxes. What are you guys doing? I'm gonna get ready to do some magic that will blow things up. Brandy's... And I'm gonna hold my crossbow. Brandy's bringing the carriage to a fast pace. All right. Is it approaching us from behind or ahead? It appears to be approaching you from the west. Ah, so uh, from the side. 
Weird. All right. I'll move in between the two, <laughs> right? In between the cart and the dragon. All right. It's important to mention. So I mean, we'll uh, cast thaumaturgy just to throw his voice out really loud and say, uh, "What do you want?" <laughs> Uh, the creature appears Sonian. to be very far away, uh, probably unable to hear even despite this. It's cool. heading over quickly. It's difficult to tell whether its eyes are transfixed upon you or whether something else about the region. But it's heading in your general direction. But you all are attempting to run away at a fast pace. I would like you all to make a stealth check with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. right. oh, so close. I'm in the Concadero. Do I even make a check? What do you mean at disadvantage? That's how they always are. Um, right? Actually, yeah. I restore balance. Um, oh. So oh. that... Um, Perfectly I'm balanced. Trying as to all see things which should one. Be. How many times I can okay. do this. Um, this is I restore balance so that myself... Um, and, well, it's just, just me, I guess, because the rest of you guys didn't. <laughs> yeah, just me. It's a, it is a reaction, so you can only do it to one of us. Oh, yeah. well, I'm doing it to me, then. Alright, a moment. Because Hammerfell already Hell? has, like, double this advantage. So selfish. <laughs> well, it's only one, one, it, it cancels out, it's fine. I got a zero. Time death. Yeah, you... <laughs> It's because you were yelling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got I got us covered with our with my twenty one. I'm so sneaky, so stealthy. Sneaky. Sonian hides under the bench in the Kungadero. <laughs> ever find him there? Throws an empty no bottle of wine at it. Ever know. I'll steal it. Faring's no just having the know. worst day. He's hung over. There's a dragon. Poor Faring. All right, all right, all right. The day, the day, it's like all this shit just keeps happening to us. Like ah, oh, no, it'll be fine. We did have <laughs> one day. He wanted one day. He got one. That's what we got, right? He got one day, and then the gods said, "Just kidding." <laughs> one. The gods say, "Hey, do you guys like dragons?" It only takes one bad day. <laughs> You guys will begin making your way Make a boy. down the path through the tempered range at a now fast pace. Uh, you kick the horses into high gear, Brandy, and begin giving chase. The creature appears to be, uh, as you sort of make your way through the mountains, the creature, while far, it seems its gaze and its path of travel seem to shift with you. I would like you... Uh, to make a dexterity check with advantage as you are piloting a cart. Dexterity check? Dexterity check. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll this as acrobatics just because it would still benefit from a yep. uh, check of roll. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes! It's at advantage. Oh, it's at advantage. Oh, yeah. shit. That's amazing, then. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> Let's go. As you slam their face into the desk, <laughs> you begin. Uh, you are shouting orders. You are all sort of in this state of like absolute balance within the cart as the horses uh, draw you forward, and you manage to hit a point where it's like there's you're a going underwater. Oh no! Uh, there is a point where it seems there's a sudden drop off, but you manage to. Stay fast, and you're like, it's either this or it's contending with the dragon. So you continue forward, and you float almost there for a solid three seconds before you make contact with the ground again. The cart bounces. You hear the metal of the of the wheels like slowly, like as you make your way through, uh, making you cringe. Uh, specifically, Sinian, as you hear the sounds of the cart, the shambling of the wood. It's a very chaotic setting. Um, as you all watch, you appear to. And you all take a moment to look back in the direction of the dragon. You no longer see it lingering behind you. We should find a place to uh, to hide for a while, so we do not uh, see him again. Good idea. 
look real fast for like an overhang in the rocks. What's the terrain like in here? Is uh, forest area, mountainous. Sorry, go. It, it's very mountainous. There is a. Uh, you are still in the thicket of the mountains. It's less forested here. However, you can find a rather large bunch of bushes that should give you adequate cover if you hide and crouch beneath them and keep the cart uh, stored rather deep between these bushes. Mm -hmm. This should do. Should I live for a while? So that was a dragon, right? That it was. Pick up There's the a green one. one. Can't be certain. It was a giant thing with wings. I've never there seen any giant things with wings. I've never seen anything else that was that big with. with... Wait. Yes, yeah, so that was for sure a dragon. Could we just tell, kind of judge how big it was? Uh, make a uh, perception check. Yeah, uh, looking back. <laughs> I look backwards in time. <laughs> That's called remembering. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're right. <laughs> I look backwards in time from my own point of view. That's called remembering. <laughs> it's difficult Memories. to get an exact shape. Uh, an exact sense for the exact shape of this creature. However, its wingspan was easily uh, probably about 100 feet across. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> All right. It's smaller <laughs> than the rock. That's fair. Rock was the very fucking big. Only barely. That was uh, quite the creature. We should. Uh... Be watchful for it in the future. Of course. Oh god, these mountains really are trying to kill us, aren't they? I guess so. I've oh, gotten over it at this point. They've done a poor job so far. Are we stopping for today? <laughs> we can make so much more progress. We can, however, I would recommend a, uh, perhaps an hour? To, uh, you know, wait the creature out and then continue progress. Alright. Sounds fine time. to me. <laughs> if we're stopping for an hour, I'll make us at least a lunch. Where we can. Woohoo! Some... <laughs> She's Wonderful. gonna make sandwiches. Woo! Hey. Nice. It's topical. <laughs> <laughs> She has made sandwiches before. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna use my channel divinity over the course of this hour. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna curl up with my notebook. All right. You're making the sandwiches and handing them out. Brandy's gonna sit next to Lyra. Enjoy her sandwich. So Lyra keeps like glancing at her, <laughs> um, and is reluctantly eating very slowly, mostly after she glances at Brandy. <laughs> is everything all right? Mm -hmm. Just not very hungry, Just... you know me. I'm speaking more of the keep Dragon? looking at. You keep looking at me every few seconds to more what I was speaking of. I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to. I stop looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm writing in my notebook in, um... Giant? Yeah. All right. You see Hammerfell take 50 gold pieces out of a pouch and lay them out 
onto, I don't know, like a small blanket before all of them begin to glow and shape up into a small mass before he begins to shape it with his hands. And after a while, it will eventually turn into a shining, brilliant, uh, silvery uh, platinum ring. Mm -hmm. Another one for the Order of Embers. There it is. Did you put the insignia on it? Oh, yes. Branding is everything. <laughs> Branding is everything. Brandy is everything. Who did I give the first Ooh. one to? Uh, I think yourself. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't got uh, one. Fucking so Checking to make sure. Is, uh, you know, the subject of Not potential mean. targeting. I will, uh, Hand, uh, hand the ring to you, uh, Solera. Oh. There you are. Thank you. This is, uh, it's a focus for, uh, uh Vion's magics. It should, uh, allow me to, uh, protect you with, uh, a, a bond between us. Any I... damage that you would take would be reduced, and I would take the remainder. Sir Hammerfell, that... Doesn't that put you in more danger? Oh, no. Don't worry about me. I should be fine. But you, should these people really be after you, and if it was not a coincidence, I would want you to have it. I shall give everyone one in time, however. <laughs> I have, uh, it takes time to f perform the rituals, so. Just, Thank uh, you. I guess, She's of course. Puts it on, uh, her right middle finger next to the signet ring she has on her ring finger. Nice. Alright. Eventually, an hour passes. Food is dealt. Those who eat get five temporary hit points. And oh, rings are given out before... Seems like a good enough amount of time has passed where you thrown off the stench of this creature. Nice. Should be long enough. I should, uh... Yes, make more travel. Alright. Sounds good to me. On the road again! Clear the brush off the... <laughs> off the <laughs> way. Alright. Back on the carriage we go. You all make it the rest of the way of today's journey. Yay. With Nor, with Nay a dragon encounter, and Nay any other things of interest except for lower roads, less pressure in the air, and warmer weather. Excellent. Nay of the horses. Nay of the. <laughs> I'll, I'll see myself out. At certain points between the mountains, you can actually see into the land of Sordan. Making it that far across, you could see for miles, uh, probably up until just before a stream of water, which could, from this uh, distance, be a massive river that flows from the mountains down into the valley below. You've nearly made it through the mountainous part of this trek. Almost over. <laughs> <laughs> Spelled sword on wrong. You're able to find a good enough area to settle down for the night. Flat. No more sleet. <sighs> no more snow. Beautiful. Excellent. Just plain old dirt. <laughs> <laughs> dirt. Got a jar of dirt. I got a <laughs> Um, Solera sets up her stuff, as usual. Mm -hmm. I'll get camp set up as well. Alright. Brandy will start making dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make chicken cordon bleu. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Fancy. I know that one. I know that one. I know that one. Oh, it's fancy. It's chicken, cheese, and ham. 
fancy. Put their stuff it's French. Fancy. Put their stuff inside each other. <laughs> That's how you make food fancy. You stuff a bunch of stuff inside each other instead of putting them yeah, next like to a... each other, and then you give it a French name. Yeah, yeah like a turducken. <laughs> I was about to say. That's not a French like... name. Or like a calzone. <laughs> That's not a French name! <laughs> French Not all food, food are from France. Yeah, but I'm saying that's what makes it fancy. Mm. So you're saying French fries are fancy? Got them. French fries are not a French name. They're an English phrase that has the word French in it. Then why does it say France? Boom, roasted. Turducken <laughs> can also be referred to as Boyatine, which is the French name for... Then yeah, that, that is fancy. fancy as fuck, right? <laughs> a yeah, boyatine, that is fancy. Right? Turducken yeah. sounds the most redneck fucking dish you've ever heard of, right? Turducken! <laughs> Moving it's on. Turducken, more like food I put my we. fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to keep settled. saying that sentence? Out for the night. <laughs> In an area of flatness of dirt. Uh, what is everyone doing after dinner time? Shutting up for forever. <laughs> <laughs> so they're at... Curls back up with their notebook. I'll do another time. Painting. How far away did you say that, like, liver, river, stream, lake, whatever it was? Miles. Miles? Uh, it's difficult to tell. Um, I'll say you could go ahead and make a, a perception check if you like. Try and gauge it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to do it. Advantage, but... Well, 16. 16. 16? From your current location, you could probably make it out to be about... Uh, probably around... That would be... About uh, somewhere between 50 and 75 miles away from you. Okay. Walking so distance. Walking distance if you're crazy. Have you seen? Um, yes, I'm an avid long walker. Mm. And, uh, ten miles in a day is a long one for me. I'll re-up aid everyone. I've more. technically biked, like, a hundred miles in a day. That's, like, marathon I distance. Or walk. triathlon distance? I don't know. Back uh, when I was in better shape in school. I'll give everyone aid, but again, Thank so you. in case nice. in case something happens tonight, we'll be ready. We love it. Just I appreciate tonight. you doing that, so I don't have to like be changing my HP. Changing and it back and DVR. forth. Changing it back and forth, but yeah. Yeah. Makes everything easier. Yep. And also long rest, so I have restore balance mm -hmm. back. Nice. Well, I wanted to talk to Sylvia <laughs> before. Go ahead. Evening clothes. <clears throat> She's sitting on her bedroll with a notebook. I'm I am going to make a painting and short rest to get my stuff back. So Lyra, um hmm. remember a, a few days ago I talked about a desire for a a last name, surname. Mm-hmm. Have you selected one? I think I have, um, especially now as as I am, it would make more sense to have one. It would. So I've settled on it's a word in primordial. I felt it would be it was fitting to have some sort of remnant connection to what I once was in a way in the name. So I've decided on the surname of Actinobolos. Actinobolos. What does it mean? It means uh, I don't want to sound too uh, self-grandizing with it, but it means uh, to shine. Uh, shining, radiant. No, it certainly makes sense. Sure. 
Yeah, that's as long. Just I'm that's my new name. Something you like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's this is who I am now. So that's my that's my new name. Wonderful for you. Do you hear from me? You do help. Oh. Go on. Are you doing okay? Yes, of course. Do you want to talk about why you keep looking at me? Should I not look at you when I'm speaking to you? You know what I'm meaning. I looked at you at lunch because you were sitting next to me? Where else am I supposed to look? I'm, I'm sorry if I've upset you with it. I'm not... No, you didn't upset me, doll. Um, I'm, um... It's nothing. She goes to stand up. Alright. I can take first watch unless anyone else wants to. <laughs> um, I'll start setting up the, the doll. So that's ritual casting the dome. Uh, you'll hear from like inside uh, the uh, Kungadero. Uh... Randy, you can hear help. Uh, wait. I need help. I just need to put me in Is Randy trapped inside the carriage? No. <laughs> Was that for Brandy? Is yeah. That is it, Brandy's is, name? I hope that. I hope that uh that sounded right. It's supposed to sound like I'm in another room. <laughs> it sounded like you were locked in a box. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Brandy, help! I'm trapped in your box. I need help out. <laughs> Does she what? still have the physical box? No box. Oh, she threw the box away. I wanted it. It was gone with the ritual. Oh, okay. Hmm. No fancy cigar box for me, sad. Mm -hmm. I walk up to the Kungadero and open it. Sunny's like frantically in the middle of like uh getting ready to draw and he's just like a I know yeah uh make us better and uh, I know I'm the best, but uh do you think I'm the best? Smile. <laughs> so you want Bardic inspiration? Please, Brandy, give me a crumb of D8. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, um, this to be amazing, and I, I need, I just uh, would like some help making it great. Aww. All right, but uh, just puts a hand on the shoulder. You don't need my help to make things beautiful, huh? You do make pretty good art by yourself, even if sometimes the colors are strange, but that is not even a problem with current paint, but even when it was happening, it wasn't a problem. It was just a distinction of your style, but trust your instincts. You'll do fine. Pats him on the shoulder, and that's the Bardic Inspirations. Hey. You gave him Bardic Inspiration by saying he didn't need Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> the Bardic Inspiration you needed was the friends you made along the way. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna do my fucking best. Watch me rolling that one now. It's like, ah, oh, you didn't need it. Freaking yeet! <laughs> Not good enough. So I mean, like, like it's it's decent for what he's doing, and it gets the intended effect, but it's not good enough for what for signing, and he immolates it. 
and says uh, he'll try again tomorrow. But uh, that's what he does today. Or for the rest and whatnot. We have like eight hours before we even do eight hours of rest. Yeah. Could I try again? Yeah. Oh. Gonna spend a lot of time, and not ask for brandy again because it's like I I, I don't want to I don't want to be a greedy bitch. <laughs> I'll pass the pain. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Your pain sucks. Your pain sucks. <laughs> Your pain sucks. <laughs> Not go. even a visual artist. <laughs> this is acceptable. <laughs> uh, he'll uh just uh watch what he has made uh because he made one of the the little gif reels and he will just watch it for possibly hours. Oh, just so he can see color. Uh, well. Yes and no, but don't worry about it. My heart. Um, he he'll just be sitting in the Kungadera, just like staring at the screen. He doesn't get to be the... in the um hut. Oh yeah, are we in the hut? Oh shit. Yeah. Well, it once what, once I start hearing the, the 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 sounds of hut making, I'll <laughs> leave. <laughs> leave the Kungadero. It's like ah, she's doing the mar. She's doing the maracha, the maraca dance again. I gotta get in the <laughs> tiny hut. That's how ritual casting works, right? You just pull dance. up the maraca. I'm trying to remember yeah. what's the. What's, it's not the cha cha slide. It's the a, macarena. That's it. Why uh, so is doing ritual the casting the macarena? Because uh, you spend ten minutes uh, casting, doing something simple. Is the macarena <laughs> ten minutes long? Could be. I don't think it is. You can play it for ten minutes. The cupid shuffle. It, it is. <laughs> ah, Brandy. I need. I just need Brandy, and I just need the mental image of Brandy doing the Cupid it's shuffle. It's like three minutes long. Three or four uh... minutes. While well, while well, ritual casting, Brandy plays November Rain like Guns and Roses. <laughs> <laughs> she plays the Mystic Crystal by. It's from uh, the nineties. Yes, cool. it's from the nineties. What do you mean? Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll 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 be. It's named he after a hmm? person. He wants yes, a... the... There's a plot to the Macarena song. <laughs> Didn't know. Faring that. Want... will rest in the. Kungadaru. Uh, Kungadaru. Uh, actually, rest in the bubble if you all would allow it. Oh. Yeah. No, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Happy to be not in a wooden cart. Good evening. Good evening. Smiles at everyone. Awkwardly sits down and starts getting set up. <laughs> I love Barry. <laughs> Are you feeling better? Not quite. It was hell of a day, but... Couldn't possibly have gone too terrible. We ran into a dragon. And we survived, so... I feel like fortune's on my side. We could survive anything. A good That's state of mind? Good. Yes. We'll get there in no time. Can see the valleys from here. Indeed. Quite a sight. Just you watch. Once I get to Sudo, I'll open the best alchemy shop anyone's ever seen. Certainly. It'll be wonderful. Sign in. Here you are. Mm -hmm. uh, hand you uh, a, a beautiful platinum ring with uh, uh, the Order of Ember seal on it. Finally, a true lord of Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's proof. Love rings. It's uh, it's it's, it's pretty like beautiful. Like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh 
<laughs> Which one's the one ring, though? Probably have a voice. Here's your golem voice mod. <laughs> it's called my throat. Yeah, that's just. <laughs> my precious. Oh, my. It's pretty good. That's actually yeah, that's that's really good. good. Yeah, I'm really I'm good at doing funny voices. It's, it's just when it comes to augmenting it is when I require assistance. <laughs> Like, I could just throw my headset across the room and yell at it, but that's not as cost-effective. <laughs> and it would break my headset. <laughs> True. That's pretty important. Instead, I could just... Uh, fucking do this. He's under the floorboards. I'm of your house. The walls. No! Get up! But rest, so. though. Resting, watching, resting in, watching. I don't know I if this would be watch. possible. But I want to do Channel Divinity, which takes an hour, and mm -hmm. then a quick short rest, and then another Channel Divinity? Is that yeah, possible? Yeah, that works. That works. Uh, you'll just have to get up later tomorrow. I mean, like, we had, like, the, the time before where, like, we weren't traveling for more than eight hours, I would think. Were we? I imagine you travel for eight hours, right? It's yeah, like, and then know. we have eight hours, and then we rest for eight hours. So we had eight hours, so you could do four Channel Divinities. Well, up to you. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, Erica's I'll, I'll just on and off all night doing magic. <laughs> One hour, every hour on the dot, he starts, uh, uh, yeah. uh playing the, uh, we all, we all, uh, work together. There you go, yeah. From, uh, we, we all live. lived. We all lived yeah. together from Warframe. It's a good song. It's a good game. It's alright. I was addicted to that game for the it's longest time. It's fucking amazing. Warframe's fun. Yeah, I I paid so much. I put so much fucking money in that game. <laughs> uh, I put it. I put it decent amount too. But what you making? Oh, uh, I will make uh, another ring, not the final ring. Uh, I will make another ring though for uh, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Brandy. I'm free and you're and you're already frozen to me, huh? <laughs> not quite. This is uh. A, a different kind of bond. It is one of uh, friendship and camaraderie. Not exactly uh, marital. Sonia like, pops it. <laughs> Sonia, like pokes his head out from the Kungadero. Salira like, glances up. Are you, trying are you proposing to all of us? Are we at... Oh my gosh. And just goes back into the <laughs> Kungadero. I don't think you want that relationship. I'm changing the finger now. <laughs> Sonny, did you think... <laughs> what? Out of context, you're saying I'm changing the finger now. <laughs> <laughs> if you inspect wow. it, it's, uh, it has a inscription on the inside of it. <laughs> Best friends forever. Love Sir Hammerfell. <laughs> Best friends forever. Best friends forever. Friends. <laughs> It is. I think it is a ring. That stands for us. I think it is the the. It, isn't it a ring in SpongeBob? Yeah, it's a best friend forever. It ring. is a ring. It's got, <laughs> it's got a music box in it. Yeah. Why is it our ring the cool, that cool Hammerfell ring? I can't make a music box in a ring. Yes, you could. Yeah, you could. Possible you have pieces. the power of a god. You have you have the power of God and Annie on your take side. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Absolutely not. I refuse. Why well, can't make us make funny, music boxes? Make us funny Kadesh. toys. Make us funny toys. He can. Make us toys. Make us toys. Small. Channel Divinity Anyways. for cool reasons. But what's in the ring? Oh, uh, you gotta look. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I look at the description. Uh, the inside of Brandy says, "The flame to temper a better world." Oh. I look at. I I stealthily take mine off and look at the inside. <laughs> Uh, yours says, the inquisitive mind to guide the future. Sign doesn't know there's secret words, so <laughs> he, he will never know what his are. <laughs> Mitch wants to. Uh, I mean, you were, you were kind of listening to the conversation before, so, I don't know. You may have heard. Okay, I'll... With my negative two perception, I'll look. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Uh, it says, holy power matched with unrelenting spirit. Mm -hmm. That's so poetic! <laughs> Salira oh, almost oh. tears up and then makes herself think about something else. 
<laughs> that is a rather thoughtful gesture, I guess. I guess it you. is a, a practical one. Should you uh, be in severe danger, I can uh, cast a certain spell to empower you and protect you. So. Oh, Slytherin oh, raises her eyebrows at Sir Hammerfell. Does this is this section capable of being cast the other way, or is it merely a one way? Hmm, I hadn't thought of that, but I believe that if you had the capability of casting the spell, it would work the other way. Yes. We can all just pool our health points. <laughs> Now, sadly, you can't make bizarre chains of fucking warding bond. Cause that would be so cool, if, though. Yeah. <laughs> if that would be an endless. It would be an endless loop of taking half damage until we all die. <laughs> yep. Although That's true. It, there is the rule that you can only be affected by the same spell only once. So. Yeah, warding bond is a still wouldn't work. The spell ends if you drop to zero hit points, or if the target becomes separated by more than sixty feet. It also ends if the spell is cast again on either of the connected creatures. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, if I cast it on you, and then Randy cast it on you, then it would break both the bonds. Or I guess it would just break the older one. Yeah. Interesting. So Lyra's, like, yeah. a little weirded out that he didn't tell her how it actually works. Like, that he takes damage. Hmm. But she's not saying anything. Sonny just thinks it's a team ring. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what it does. He's like, this. it's shiny. It's his planeteer ring. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> shiny, shiny. I like shiny things, but I bury you with paper rings. Paper. That's like my first favorite song off her album, Lover. It's such a good song. Never heard it. Well, I pity you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Never, it's a Paper Rings by Taylor Swift. Excellent. Oh. Oh? Taylor? I never even met her. Taylor, Taylor Swift? Taylor? I don't even know how to the use The international pop sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. D&D, &D, though. Yeah. <laughs> what else yeah. are we doing? I'm, I'm going in the tiny hut once it's tiny hut time. Like shiny things. Just let me stick my head now. Are you gonna? Do you have any other uh, crafts, Hammerfell? Uh, Arts and crafts. I, I if I have the time, yeah, I'll do it. You got like four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll. Uh, that was one. That was two, one, maybe two. Yeah. I will craft a another uh, another platinum ring, although this one is a bit different from the others. Um, when when he is finished with it, it's a bit of a larger ring. Uh, he will go over to Francis's bridle and unhook one of the one of the one of the rings, uh, hooking hooking it. And, so does <laughs> and I'll I'll uh, install that to it because I <laughs> I think it qualifies as him wearing it, right? Why not? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. cute! Oh my! <laughs> that was uh. <laughs> Never filmed. <laughs> Hammerfell <laughs> marries Francis confirmed, says Mitch. <laughs> You've heard of gay marriage, Salira. <laughs> ready for gay, ma it would gay be. marriage and bestiality. <laughs> bestiality. It would be a gay marriage. <laughs> gay uh, have you ever, you ever looked at those, uh, Annette? <laughs> you ever see, you ever check? <laughs> ever check what? Whether... Sir Hammerfell's yeah. marriage to his horse is gay or not? Seeing if... Never mind. So that's the real reason Sir Hammerfell hasn't Moving gotten married yet. On. His <laughs> horse is cooler on. than anyone he could ever meet, so... Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Anything else anyone wants to do before... We get to long rest? No. No? Other than, uh... You know, right, you know, 
uh, getting everyone back that sweet, sweet tin. Yeah! For the next day. And then we, we lose it. our temp HP. All right. So. Slyra, you were taking the first watch, correct? Yep. Two perceptions? Yes. Excellent. Oh. Uh, I was focusing so hard the first time that I got tired. Um, for the first watch, keep a keen eye out throughout the night. Make sure never to waver. And be sure that all is within your line of sight. Nothing appears to jump out at you. No dragons. No beast of a kind. In the second hour, however, or the second watch, your mind is a little bit more busy. Filled with doubts, questions that have gone unanswered, and general fears that you have given the events of all preceding days. And I got anxious. Yes. But the bad thoughts crept in. You know when you're up way too late mm -hmm. and suddenly your brain's like, Me. hey. <laughs> did you ever you're check like, it's Francis? Time to go to bed. Did you ever check Francis? You, now you never will. What did I. That being said. What am I checking Francis for? You know what? No! <laughs> that being said, uh, nothing else appears during this watch either. However, Hammerfell. <gasps> oh? Oh. <laughs> As Rachel turns into a chimpanzee mic, <laughs> you <laughs> find sleep easily and water after a long mouth. day's work and travel. <laughs> However, throughout your dreams of reliving past events less brutal than the ones you used to have night after night, <sighs> these of more merry events of jousting matches and memories with all of the people within your life. Oh. You find you suddenly find yourself in a workshop. There is you set in the center of this expansive workshop. You see an anvil the size of a mountain. You see a forge whose fuel can level dry the ocean <laughs> and you see a being there difficult to discern it's looking upon it almost hurts your brain and you hear the sounds of a hammer hitting metal a constant an earthquake with every hit And as you sit there and listen and ponder upon this being, you will simply hear a voice within your mind. The time has come, Samson Hammerfell. The time for you to forge your own destiny and your own weapon. Well, guide my hand. What is it that I shall create? Well, I've that... noticed a certain change in choice of weaponry lately. <laughs> I didn't realize your name was Samson Giant Swordfell. <laughs> 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 I can't believe Bjorn makes like dad puns. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm switching gods. <laughs> Bjorn's the kind of guy you can have a beer with. Yeah. <laughs> so, a hammer, it must be. It shall. 
What'd you say? That it shall. <laughs> I'm <laughs> greater. I'm greater than any forge by man, dwarf, or giant. One made out of a metal that is yet to be created. Of course, this will not come without its hardships. Of course. Where shall I find such a thing? First, you must acquire, be it by trade of mail or an extraction of a differing kind. You must acquire an entire three bars of adamantine. And I'm afraid this will be the easiest of tasks. And it will be one that proves both your strength as the forge and your strength of heart and your devotion to me. There is on an island off the coast of Adelon in the northeast. There is an island beneath it resides of a colony of evil eldritch beings. Within that colony you will find an abomination of a brain resting within a biological tank. That's the best insult I've ever heard. Within the brine of this tank, you must leave these adamantine ingots for three hours. It will create a new metal that you will be able to forge a weapon to fight on par with the lesser gods. Then it shall be done. I Good accept luck. your challenge, and thank you for the guidance. It is of no issue, one devout as you. Go forth. Sir <laughs> Samson Greatsword Fell. <laughs> 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 and the laugh just echoes as white fills your vision, and you are back to your normal dreams of night. I turn my metal into a pickle, Morty. Pickle metal. <laughs> that's how, that's that's how Bjorn leaves you. He just slams the door shut. Pick adamantium. I'm adamantine Rick. I'm adamantine Rick. <laughs> so we can have nice things, Mitch. <laughs> I like you're blaming Mitch, but I'm the one who made the joke first. Just in chat. I was, typing it. I was oh, typing it. I was typing it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my god, that's right. You did it, and then fucking goddamn Mitch, you're such a joke thief. Yes. He did pull in the Rick and Morty reference. Well, yeah, that's why that... it was pick. That's what. That's oh why wait, it was initially. Was the... a... Okay, admittedly, Rick I've seen like three episodes of Rick and Morty. Oh, it's brother, impressive. this guy stinks! <laughs> this whole session is just me not knowing what things mean. Next, on to the next watch. <laughs> yep. Your watch is completed without issue. Great. Excellent. Are you waking? Oh, um... Sir Hammerfell, sorry to ruin your dream. No, that's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna like. Can I tap him on the shoulder if he's wearing armor? Yeah. Shake his pauldron. You tap him on the shoulder. Yeah. He doesn't wake up. He doesn't wake up. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. You get to shake him a bit. So Hammerfell. 
Ooh, oh, yes. Um, it's your turn to keep watch. Oh, yes, of course. You get up to it. Oh, yes. <laughs> As I am. Wonderful. Good night, then. Yes, you as well. I go to bed. Cheerily right. stand up and uh, begin my patrols. <laughs> I like how he actually like makes a patrol and everyone else yeah. just does nothing. <laughs> I'm on everyone patrol. else kind of sits there and does like their own their own stuff. All the SpongeBob references today. All right, go ahead and roll a perception check, Connor. I'm good at those. Boom! God tier seventeen. Um. Funny shield makes your eyes go good. It does. <laughs> My fucking god. Once again, you find yourself uninterrupted in your night's rest. As no creature appears to pay you any mind. And you see no sights of dragons. However, dot dot dot. Oh, Celine. However, <laughs> oh no, me, me. It's your turn now. Oh, no. it's alright. You're just gonna get, you know, guidance from like your dad. I, I don't know. <laughs> Not my dad. However, you're my dad. You, you, you are my dad. You're my dad. You're my dad. <laughs> you're my dad. Bookie, bookie, bookie. <laughs> alright, that's the soundboard. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> So your wish uh, is my com I, I you transferred your genius to me. Your wish is my command. Only when it's soundboard related, everything else you can do it yourself. <laughs> get some animations up in this. Anyway, is it Tiamat? <laughs> you find yourself after. Uh, quick question: Are you are you transing or are you sleeping? Trancing. All right. Just That's now. the plan, anyway. Through your general mental exercises, you find yourself interrupted and placed within a room of hot, burning fire. None of it directly makes contact with you, but it surrounds you. And you hear a voice. Well... Somebody in such close proximity to an ally of an enemy. Tempestuous emotions flood her heart, too. An interesting thing, after all. Hello. Hello? Can I see who's speaking? Not really. It's, uh, your- the fire pretty much is a wall that clouds your vision. Impossible to look beyond. Who are you? I think I'll ask first who you are. You'll see- you'll feel the fires go brighter. Almost burning. I... Do not already know if you're in my dream. I'm speaking Elvish, by the way. Salera um, Bayrel Korleth Joharis Miari Mesha Rubio. I see. I don't know the person, but I know the nature of the soul. You are conflicted. Something clouds your mind. Allow fire to lead the way to clarity. Are you? I offer you a deal. A deal? Yes. 
I would very much like to know who I'm doing business with. Names are so unimportant. I gave them Call me... You can call me Baronet. Baronet? For now. What's the deal? I can feel within your heart a longing for the safety of the friends you currently imbibe. However, you are unsure of your capability to provide it against the forces that are clearly seeking you out. Do you know who those forces are? No. It's a bit beyond my grasp, however. Should we make a deal, I can guarantee you the power to defend your friends from these forces. And anyone else who might be in danger from them? Yes. Anyone? Anyone. And everyone. And uh, what is my side then of this deal? I'm just an old sinner who has a large lack of company. Your company alone will be enough to save this old heart from a melancholy existence. Company? Do you mean... Is this a proposal? I'm afraid I'm a bit beyond, uh, the age difference is fairly intense, I'm afraid, so, not quite. What I am proposing is this place within your mind. I simply would lie there and listen and take in the stories that you have to tell. My own stories? Stories that are written with your very eyes and actions. And from that, I can give you the power you so desperately need to protect your friends, your allies, your family from the dangers that lurk in the shadows. And... This allows you to see through my eyes, my memories. In a matter of words. And what does this give you? Life, in a matter of speaking. If you are in my dreams, you are far more powerful than someone who you could easily do that on your own why do you need me let's just say I'm currently stuck in a place I very much like to be free from why are you stuck there I was bullied here Sorry to hear that. It is not a choice of mine. However, you can free me. Free me of this curse. Would free I me. Would I still be in control of my own actions? Of course. You would just require my memories and my senses. Yes. 
forever? Until the story is complete. Until my death, then. If your life is an interesting read up until the moment of your death, then yes. An interesting read? An interesting story. You simply seek entertainment? Yes. Who are you that you can offer such great power for something as trivial as entertainment? I am but an old man who has lived a year, two years, a decade, a century too long. And I've come across power that I do not require. Well. And I may lend it out when I so please. I would like to know explicitly the terms of the agreement. What it would grant you, how I would be affected, the possibility of further harm coming to my family after my death. There is a moment of silence and the creature says, Do you really have much of a choice right now? Your friends will die if you let them. Your friends will die if I am not involved. Your friends will die from the forces that you have drawn to them. So I will ask you now, if you say no, I will leave. Do you accept the deal? I do not sign contracts without knowing the exact terms. I'm sorry. You will... She's, like, shaking, though. The fire will suddenly... And you will fall... And fall... And fall endlessly... Until the end of your trance. Which... Doesn't come until after the next watch. So, Hammerfell, who are you waking up? Oh. Hammerfell? I'm here. I'm just muted like a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wake up Brandy. Um, or like fall off your horse. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Like> you, <a> bitch. <laughs> Alright. You wake up Brandy. Oh, uh, yeah. Say, uh, Brandy, just uh, your watch. Should you be up to it? I'm up to it. It's... Anything of note? Uh, no, not that I could see. <clears throat> All right. Wait, did you shed anything? Good night, Hammerfell. Yes, yeah. good night to you. Oh, should you wish? You may uh, hold. Uh, you may uh, ask Francis for assistance. He is a uh, oh, perceptive steed. Alright. You look out through the dome. Alright, I'll hang Francis. out with your horse. <laughs> this is looking in. Give Francis the sentinel shield. <laughs> Alright, big Francis. brain. It's I didn't roll advantage. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Nice. You look out into the night. Hmm. Pay special attention to the sky, given your recent encounters. As you look into the sky, just above the mountain line, you spot but for a moment what appears to be a humanoid creature, uh, about six foot, uh, six foot and a half in height, fairly far away, cloaked 
with a mask and a blindfold of matching coloration. You spy it for a second before it disappears. The sky? Uh, on one of the tips of the mountains. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. Brandy was on her watch and looked up and saw a fucking fucking Slenderman walking down the fucking mountain. <laughs> That's actually been the BBEG all along. It's Slenderman. Yeah. We have to collect the papers. We've had a chance to see him every single long ass we just kept failing. <laughs> I will say that um, that it the, the humanoid does look familiar to you. Oh, looks like uh, the one who wielded the sword the other night that you all now carry with you. Oh shit, it's him. Something is messed up here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Gently wake, wake Hammerfell back up and just like shush him. Oh, we have been followed. One of the assassins is I've spotted him. Where on the mountain ridge, he can't see us while we're inside the dome, so he can't see that we're we see him. Mm. They were able to uh, disable the dome, right? Last time. Yes, but uh, they don't have the element of surprise this time. Just wanted to let you know to beware. Go back to bed, but be ready to wake up at a moment's notice. But I will. Um. I'll keep my eye on. It's important to note that you see him for a little bit before he appears uh, to disappear, like almost like he's there one moment and then shifts and he's gone. Go ahead and make another perception check about an hour and a half later. Is Francis still helping me? Uh, yeah, he's staying up at this point too. He was sleeping the, the previous six hours. Oh, it's good to have advantage there. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you begin looking about. You don't see anything. However, you begin here. Going underwater. Ah. You begin to hear the sound of footsteps. However, you can't see anyone. And doesn't appear to be anyone around. However, you do see a trail of footsteps being made upon the ground, probably about 60 feet away from you, uh, heading in the direction of the dome. I just want to double check something about the dome real quick. The dome! <laughs> the dome. The dome is ringing. <laughs> okay. I don't think it blocks sound either way. Don't through. be right there. It, it does. It doesn't let it out. I think it does. It doesn't. Oh yeah, we huh? said that. Already. Let's see. We've had. I believe we've had this conversation before. Yeah. The dome, like, no light or sound. Just. <laughs> Choose an object within the dome when you cast can move through it freely. All other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend to the dome when you cast through it. The atmosphere inside the spell is comfortable and dry regardless of whether outside. Until the spells you can command the interior to become dim lit or dark. The dome is opaque from the outside and any creature oh. choose both transparent from the inside. Yeah, sound can go in and out of the dome. Oh. Interesting. I thought it couldn't. 
I totally thought we, we talked about the Hall Quinn either. Mm -hmm. Doesn't anyway. mention it at all. As soon as I step out of it, the jump's gone. So, seeing the footsteps coming, I'm going to activate oh. my All right. Stride to meet the footsteps, and like right, right before they would meet the dome, I'm gonna step out and swing. All right. Um, so there's an invisible creature making attack roll at disadvantage. But they didn't see me either, so I'd get That's advantage fair. on it. So it's flat roll. And with my new race, my uh, two attack modifiers lower. Mm -hmm. I'm green flame blading. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, give me a second. I need to pull up this stat block. <laughs> My homebrew collection. Just walk up to the freaking edge of the dome and just go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that one's new. I'll, I'll turn uh, yeah, one that'll hit. Uh... Um. You, oh, uh, nice. yeah, that'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. It's 2d10 plus d6 plus d8. 1d6 1d8 plus. Three, four. Points. Holy shit! Uh, oh excuse me? How? What the fuck? Uh, well, double dude? tens, a five, and a six. Wow! How do you have so many dice? So many dice! Magic item. Yeah, it's a magic item. Yeah. Activated <laughs> Oh, so right. A... You have a funny magic item. So it's doing an additional 2d10 damage for fire. Oh. Alright. Oh! Uh, oh, as the fire hits him, uh, I actually need to check something. <laughs> How many hit points does he have? Huh? You don't know. <laughs> Brandy just one shot him. <laughs> I heard you were talking shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, you impact, and uh, the pro the footprints suddenly shift. I would like uh. You gotta roll initiative. Are you shouting? In this initiative. Uh, let me. Yes. One v one, this sucker. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you can certainly try. I mean, I, I haven't used a single resource yet, so I I could. You could try. <laughs> I but like I will. I will shout. Yes. Oh. Signing right. sleeps. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, you are all suddenly awakened by the shout. Oh, Brandy, uh, Frank says, what the bloody hell is going on? As, as you shout, and, um... Saying just freaking... Uh... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wrong sound effect. <laughs> the footprints appear <laughs> to Pulling shift out. before they disappear entirely. That being said, I still need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh. Uh, this is going to be another theater of the mind game, because we're kind of oh. in a small space here. That's fair. I don't think we'll need it. Don't um, we forget don't need to our... click your token. We don't need the creature the token. is you not revealed. You do roll initiative. It's not not revealed. I click my token. Hello. Don't forget to drag mean... token out. You need new token. New token for Brandy. I did new replace token. the token. Then I, when I dragged it out, the old one came out. Oh, it's because it, it the default token hasn't changed. McLur has to do that. I'm sorry. Well, I, Lazy. I, can't, I can't drag my token out either. Freak. Yeah, Hammerfells doesn't. Your your token's gonna be the old token too. Maybe I can't drag the token out, like at all. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me restart. Uh, I dragged it out. I. The first hey. roll was seventeen. 
All right. Um, PT is cool. Interesting. Or I have an uh, advantage, but 18 is pretty, pretty fucking good. Especially for Hammerfell. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, t I'll take the 18. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, apologies if we end up going a little bit late tonight. I don't mind. It's all right. Uh, oh, I so <laughs> love that. Uh, Occupations. I'm getting up at. I have to get up at four thirty. Fuck. Should we do this next week? Yeah, we can just uh, roll the initiative and then do the actual. Fight. Pick it up next time on. Dragon Ball Z. I will say there is going to be uh, there is going to be something that happens at the top of this battle that I'd like to get done. Oh, oh, uh, okay. oh. Cliffhanger? We'll get what what happened the cliffhanger of the first move and initiative. Um, what is it? One second, sorry. I'm just grabbing. I'm gonna grab a random token here. Go for it. He's an evil guy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he does not look like that. <laughs> Is that? Oh. Oh god. I thought ah, it was a cartoon character. Enderman. That's fucking dead hand. Oh no, it's a false hydra. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. No, what the fuck? I got an 18. <gasps> you can change it. It's fine. There you go. What happened? I'm so scared. <laughs> um, actually, I need to roll concentration check on something real quick. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> on invisibility. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's got a high ass DC. Invisibility yeah, it's gotta drops. Be, it's gonna be 20. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be, it had to be 20. <laughs> 19, but you know. Yeah, but. You know. And you will see the revealed form again of this uh, creature now flying. Uh, the hood pushed back by the force of getting up from the ground. You will see extended elven ears extending from the back of his head. Uh, you will see... Uh, one moment. Duh. All I can hear in my head right now is that part in Elf where Will Ferrell goes, You're an elf! <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you will see dark brownish black hair flowing out from behind the hood, uh, the ears poking through. Uh, there are eyes of a um, pretty pale blue. The complexion in general is pale of this creature. However, the face is, the eyes, or not the eyes, the face uh, is still itself covered by a dark wispy mask. However, uh, there is a moment where this creature, uh, the eyes, the eyebrows sh shift into a stance of anger. And you'll see the creature say, I've given you all courtesy enough. <laughs> and he will, he will conjure uh, what appears at first to be a spell similar to, similar to what you cast. Uh, often, Silaro, it appears to be a fireball at first. However, as it is cast, it seems to shift uh, in elements to that of a more electrical zapping motion. And beyond that, you will see energy flare around him as he does so. I need you all to make dexterity saving throws. But we're in the old path the through the dome. Oh, yeah, that's no. good. No, because I said to step out of it. To oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, no. Anyone a paladin? Any paladiners in chat? No. I'm discounting. It's fine. I'm, I'm amazing. This new armor, amazing. Yeah, I'm god tier. Deck saves. <laughs> you know me. Should I bother yeah, right. using? <laughs> well, you can't. You don't have advantage or disadvantage. Oh, I thought it was a... Never mind. And silvery barbs is only for... Oh, uh, if you pass, so you don't want to do it if you fail. You don't want to do is it if you're making the save. You want to do it if someone else does. I, I, All right. I failed, but however. <clears throat> however. Reaction. I'm hellish rebuking at first off. 
Yes. Those of you who failed will take 48 points of lightning damage. Okay. Uh, Sydney, what was you the DC the again? That succeeded. Only uh, me was the only one that succeeded. But 40, 48. So, mm -hmm. so uh, that's how much? Uh, that's 14 or 24 halved. Uh, yeah. If it's halved, it's 28. Um. No, it's halved. It's 24. Yeah, uh, yeah half the goat, sorry. which I take half because I have resistance to lightning damage thanks to my blue dragon armor. And All right. you oh, also, you. um, oh wait, you have to cast a spell to do it, never mind. You have temp HP and you have 10 extra hit points. Yep. Yeah. Don't forget. Uh, however, you're not four gore. Faring is knocked unconscious. <gasps> uh oh. And that's where we'll pick up. And uh, you'll see as the... Uh, black wispy mask fades away, and it, is it? Does it make the dex? Is it ritual? Is it? Is it? Is uh, it you can, uh, dead? It'll, it'll make the it'll make the dex save. It's not Salira's death. Oh. Uh, that is going to be a dex. My apologies. Uh, a fifteen. That's the DC. Uh, it would actually be 20 damage, so it's halved to 10 on a six. All right, takes that. And this appears to be a rather unassuming elf to most of you. Uh, though, has a trace of familiarity. However, oh. Solira, you look upon the face of Aelin Ruviel. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And that's where we'll pick up next session. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry if I clip the mic. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. Aelin's eyes brown? Uh, they they are pale at the moment. They're pale blue like death. Oh my god! Oh my god! So yeah, uh, that was we'll, we'll... a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys are almost out of the mountains. Exciting, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or what? <laughs> that was a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I guess that's it for this Thursday, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, we will pick up next week uh, at seven o'clock Pacific time. Uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes.